a hot career course, and a full rundown of soccer sectional and tennis regional action, because we are on the air. I'm Nate Parker. And I'm Parker Smith. For only a few years now, RHS has offered one of the hottest new career classes around. The fire rescue teacher tells us how you can be part of the fire rescue team. Um, our fire rescue class um, is a class that our adult firefighters and professional firefighters take. It's the same, same class, the same coursework. Uh, we do the same things. Um, we're out um, climbing ladders. Um, in smoke conditions, doing search and rescue, and eventually towards the end of the class they'll get a chance to participate in some live fire activities. Uh, so basically we're going to certify them uh, the same as uh, any state uh, certifications for volunteer or uh, paid departments are. Uh, they'll have the same certifications in fire and hazardous materials uh, that those firefighters do have. Remember, if you want more information on how you can sign up for fire and rescue, you can talk to your counselor. Now let's take a look at some RHS announcements, including important information for early college students. That's right, and that's where we start today with job shadowing and college visits information for early college students. Early college juniors and seniors who are interested in job shadowing at Reed Hospital during fall break should see Mr. Ronnie for an application. In early college sophomores, remember your college visit to the University of Dayton is coming up on November 8th. In seniors, you need to see Mr. Ronnie to sign up for the Vincent's trip. If you didn't make it this past week, weekend, you can have one more chance to save the beaver skeleton of Dennis Hall in the Joseph Moore Museum's breakout game. It will run again this Saturday. You can go by yourself and get placed in a group or take a group of eight. You have 60 minutes to crack codes, find clues, solve puzzles, and save the world's most complete giant beaver skeleton before it becomes toast. You can sign up online and get more information. Just follow the link on our RHS Radio TV Facebook page. Any student interested in participating in Drama Club, please stop by and talk with Mr. Langley in his room R106 and get more information. Seniors, Ivy Tech will be having an open house this week. You can take a tour of their buildings, meet professors, find out more, Find out more about their programs and enjoy free pizza. It's tonight from 4.30 to 8 p.m. Purdue Polytechnic's Day in College is open to bo both juniors and seniors. Students interested in computer graphics, animation, web design, engineering, robotics, and more should consider going. If you think you'd like to attend, you must be on the track to graduate with a Core 40 diploma. Just see your counselor to find out more before this Friday. Primex Plastics, who is having an open house for anyone who might be interested, you can tour their faculties. There will be food, games, on-site interviews for anyone already 18 and more. The open house is Saturday, October 7th from 2 to 4 p.m. at their plant on North F Street. So if you'd like to get ahead start on a good job after graduation, stop by the Primex Open House. And our final announcement, today the first meeting of the Creative Writing Club is today in Miss Winters' room, L109. If you have questions, see Miss Winters or Miss Fulvey. That's your announcements. I'm Lee Syke. I'm Joey Coble. Soccer sectionals, tennis regionals, and a big game for RHS Volleyball. 
Let's get all the results in the Red Devil Sports Report. It was a rough couple nights for RHS soccer and boys tennis goes for another championship, but we start with a rowdy, hard-fought volleyball wins last night. RHS Volleyball took on crosstown rival Seton last night, and RHS brought the bleacher creatures to get things fired up. The Red Devils pulled out the win in four sets. Next up for volleyball is the NCC tournament this weekend. RHS Girls Soccer was also in action last night, but ran into a tough Mount Vernon team and fell to the Marauders in the first round of the sectional. RHS fin finishes their se season 10-7-1. And unfortunately for the boys, their season ended as well on Monday as they fell to Shelbyville in the close match. They closed their season with a 6-7-4 and four record. Tennis faced Newcastle last night in the first round of the regional and moved on to a spot in the regional final tonight with a 4-1 and one win. RHS will play Batesville for the championship starting at 4.30 p.m. tonight on the Terran Court. A win means a return trip to Semi-State and Center Grove this Saturday. And that's your sports, and I'm your girl, Play it yet. That's our show. And as we leave you, here's a look at some more fire and rescue training. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.